Hey folks, I'm Chris, and I'm a big pugger when it comes to Star Conflict. For the last day since the new patch was released, we've had serious issues with Defense Contract. I'm just going to make a quick guide here, mostly just as a... If you're soloing, these are the kinds of things you should probably be doing for yourself. So I'm just going to walk you through the five stages, and what I feel you should do, and what you'll be coming up against. The first phase is easy. All you're going to see is a few trash, and a few elites. Keep your distance from the elites, and you'll be fine. The trash will clean up quickly. The only thing I would suggest is to stay near the tower because it's a good point of reference and you'll be using it in the stages to come. Clean them up, head over the tower, and the next stage will begin. In this wave, there's a few new enemy types that you'll have to get used to, and they come in clouds. Now, if you've got a concussive gun, which is probably the type you want to field for this, just shoot them at range. They're close together, they'll explode easily, there won't be any problems. There's a couple of elites as well, just be mindful of them, pick them off when you've got time, What's more important is that you focus down the groups. Even with the strongest guard, if one of those hits you and you're not shielded correctly, you're going to drop. Now be mindful of where the tower is as this phase ends because you're going to be using it, or you can use the rock a little further down there to the left. Okay, now that the phase has begun, this is a simple one, introduces a new mob. These are turtles, they're just guards with a shield that you can't pierce with anything but concussive rounds or going around them. So once again, it's another good reason to field a weapon that will be concussive, that detonates, that has AoE, so use it. Joined by the little sparkly guys, easy enough to pop. Once again, you've got the weapon, you've got the know-how. See where we're positioned. The snipers are basically through that tower. So they can't see me, I can't see them, I'm safe. They're safe, for now. It's just a few more waves, they're very easy to clean up. Because we're all here, and someone isn't flying off to take care of the snipers, it means that they're all just coming at us at straight lines, very easy to handle, no problems, no fuss, no muss. After they're cleared, if you do have a fighter or an interceptor, they can zap over there and take care of the snipers, because we're all in frigates, we're just gonna slow boat. I know we have three meds there, none of them have warp gates, that's fine, if you have a warp gate and go from here, you pretty much reach the other structure, so you can do that, very safe, otherwise, dodge like I'm dodging. So just stay away from them, it takes time for the projectiles to reach you, you might be able to avoid them, or at least avoid most of them. Now that you're over, use the tower, you can fly through the main structure, then pop up and destroy the snipers, and that'll trigger the fourth wave. This is where I divert from what would be logical. As a solo player, you might not pass this wave anyway, because you might be with a group of fools. If that's the case, this is a very easy way to make sure that you're positioned correctly for when the cruiser turns up. Oh yeah, there's a cruiser. In the fourth wave, it's pretty easy. There's just a trash wave, there's some shielders, and there's an extra elite. There's a commander, he does a lot of damage with really slow moving projectiles. They're easy enough to avoid. What you need to do though, is head towards this scrapyard. Because around this area, just a little further over to the left, is where the cruiser's going to spawn. This is where things start to get a bit strange, because if you're a veteran like me and played a lot of other space shooters, you'll know that there's usually hard points on a ship, more so than just missile turrets. You have things like energy regulators, shield regulators, and engines. All you need to do in the fifth phase is kill the cruiser before it gets to the base. And of course, everybody thought this meant that you just need to DPS it as hard as possible to try and stop it from reaching there. But all you really need to do is take out the engines. All you need to do now is destroy the engines. You want to do it as quickly as possible. If it's just you, make sure you've saved your missiles or your singularity cannons or whatnot just to take out these engines. Because as soon as the engines are gone, you can solo this section. Now there's just a few things I want to note about the cruiser itself, other than taking out the engines. Number one, the engines produce heat which will damage you. So try to hold back. Even once they're destroyed, at the moment, as of 1.2, one day after release, it still does damage, even though the engines are destroyed. Don't worry about that, that's just how it is. Deal with it, and <laughs> work around it. Number two, a lot of you have probably noticed, if you've flown around long enough, that all of your projectiles will impart some kind of kinetic velocity. I managed to solo, Push a cruiser across the line just using my coil mortars. So don't do that. If you're on your own and you're the only one doing any damage, make sure you get around the other side and shoot it from the front. Or shoot it from the side. Don't shoot it from the back like I'm doing unless you've got a friend on the other side shooting it back at you. And finally, as I said before, a couple of unprecedented things here. The missile turrets are all worth more hull percentage 
than just shooting the hull itself. So be sure to target down the missile launchers. Once you've got it down, very quick, very easy mission. This isn't hard. The only thing that's making it hard is that the metagame has changed. They've just thrown this out of left field. And just right at the end, I'd like to thank my corpies, Zig, Zero, and Broken for helping me do this. Thanks guys, you're great. Bye.